Hundreds of the faithful turned out for a large prayer gathering tonight in what some might consider an unlikely place. The event was aimed at helping young people stay on the right track, but it didn't appeal to everyone. KTU's Lloyd Bequesta was there, and he joins us now in San Jose with a live report. Lloyd. Julie, separation of state and church is one of the founding principles of this country, yet tonight the plaza in front of San Jose City Hall became a place of worship. <laughs> For three hours tonight, in what can best be described as a Christian rock revival, more than a thousand young people came to pray and proclaim their devotion to Christianity. The event is called the Gathering of the Unashamed. That we're unashamed that God is our God and that we're not ashamed to be in a relationship with Him. Friends may, you know, seem to um, not, you know, part from you and stuff, but you know what, like, there's a, a everlasting friend in, in me, with me, and that's God, you know, and that's Jesus Christ. Tonight was a sixth annual gathering of the unashamed, a movement directed at changing young people's lives moving them away from bad choices and giving them a foundation of Christian principles. Some tonight said it works. I used to be in a lot of trouble all the time. Um, I was suspended from school constantly, but ever since I've started going to church, I haven't been suspended once. I'm keeping out of trouble. I'm passing all my classes, and I just have a whole new outlook on life. Organizers say six years ago, about 200 people attended the first gathering. Now, some 50 churches have joined in. But it doesn't appeal to everyone. Two students from San Jose State University were bicycling by and stopped, but did not stay. I'm personally not very religious, so I'm not really into Christian music so much. Tonight, the mayor of San Jose took the stage to extend his support. I have to represent all the people, people of all faiths, people of no faith. But I am unashamed to be a Christian. And this large crowd bowed to extend a prayer to the mayor. I pray, Father, that you protect our mayor, Chuck Reed, here from any uh, peers that are trying to put him down, put him in a bad, bad light. Prayer was the focus of tonight, and a youth pastor says it does work. We've seen violence come down in schools uh, through prayer. Uh, we've seen kids that normally wouldn't hang out with other kids all of a sudden uh, connecting and uh, becoming friends. Another part of this Christian movement has students meeting every morning at the flagpoles in front of their schools before classes start to pray. And for the record, this group obtained permits and paid fees like anyone else to use City Hall for tonight's event. Live in San Jose, Lloyd LaQuesta, KTVU.